the uh, engineer would give you a certain whistle, and that let you know that the local was coming up. Listen for the long whistle on the train. Boom! Take it off, throw it to the pouch man for distribution. Some people may think of this as railroad employees, but uh, that's not true because we had to take a, a stiff competitive exam uh, that the post office put out for railway postal clerks, RPO clerks. And uh, if we passed it, we, we got the job, you know. You had to know your state. Yeah. You had to know it 97% correct. I heard it said that any RPO clerk that was worth his salt was good for 10,000 post offices in his distribution area. One, one or the other direction of his distribution, he would have to have a working knowledge of 10,000 post offices. Well, the doorman had to call in at each pouch as they came in. Well, he, he, cut, he cut it short. In other words, he would say something like, uh, Florida dies with a two from Chick 7. St. Albans and Monclos, St. Albans and Whitesville. 76 pouched on New York and Washington, 110. Going on farther, you'd get Hagers and Roanoke at Waynesboro. Jack and Tampa. Durbin and Ron Severt. The Dot and Polka. Ash and Lou. The Welch and Jenkins Jones. From there on, you'd Clifton Forge, you get Richmond and Clifton Forge. Suffolk and Dan. Oh, okay. Nelson, used to be, used to be, used to be, didn't it? Nelson County is right over Charlottesville. You don't lose a whole lot of time. No. You just throw the name out or the address out, and everybody, as we're still working, somebody's going to try to figure it out. And so this was addressed to uh, Mr. Hot Dog, Washington, D.C. And so we all cured. Where in the world is Mr. Hot Dog? Because we broke the mail down. And so finally, uh, before the trip was out, somebody said, oh, that's Chief Justice Frank Fritter. <laughs> and so we sent it in the Chief Justice. That's what we decided it was, but somebody wrote on it, Mr. Hot Dog. <laughs> Most of the fellows, I'd say 99% of them, were all for one and one for all because anybody that was stuck, if, if somebody else got up on his mail, he'd go and help the fellow that was stuck because nobody sat down and rested or laid to sleep or anything else unless everybody was up. Nobody stopped to eat until anybody, everybody could eat. And it was just that uh, I help you and you help me until we're done. 1977, that was the last train that ever rode, the working mail train that ever rode the rails. It was a glorious affair, full of tears and all like that. But I think if the trains were running today, I would still be on that. And I'm sure some of the other people, because we were very, very dedicated. We loved that job. But that was the last run. And that's a sad story.